so that's another fun demo, but now it's time for the big one. So I'm going to have Willig rejoin me and we are going to do the control receive demo, which is where I use this control arm to control the arm in the office, which is the receive arm. And we're actually gonna play tic-tac-toe. So Willig, are you with me? Yep, I am here and I am, uh, you gotta start, uh, you got a VPN back into the office, please. Yes. Uh, so the way this works is that we are just, uh, I'm VPNing into the office network. That's allowing my arm to be visible to uh, the computer that uh, Willig is running. And that allows him to be able to get the feedback uh, from this arm to control the other arm uh, in the office. Great. I see it on my end and I'm going to begin the demo. And I'm going to walk around into the webcam. Hello again, everybody. Let me uncap you here. So you'll notice how when he uncapped it, I felt that. And that's the, the, the feedback I'm getting back from the arm in the office uh, at a torque level. Can you see that? Is that, yes. is that board in frame? Yeah. Uh, keep in mind, if I uh, draw squares instead of circles or any other shape, uh, that's just me. I, I'm not very good at shapes, uh, you could say. Or in other words, you could say that uh, I'm commanding this through a uh, camera over here, so I may not be able to see exactly what's going on. Uh, there's also some lag with that. But actually, uh, yeah, we'll just push that arm again, and everyone just notice how my arm is following what he's doing. And I'm going to take that back now. Thank you. Um, from here, I'm going to make the first move. Let's see. Let's go over here. If you have any questions, please be sure to put them in the chat box right now. Yeah, Colleen, feel free to forward us any questions while we play some tic-tac-toe. I will do that. Let's just imagine that's a circle. Um, it's definitely not a cross, is all I'll say. Ooh, bold move, Willig. Yeah, well, we'll see how that works out. Abdul asked, is it possible to run the same example code provided uh, on the heavy simulator? The answer to that is yes. As soon as you start the simulator, the modules uh, will appear uh, and to the APIs in scope as if they were physical modules. Uh, so the example code that we have should work without any changes. As you can see, Willig is now cheating. So uh, <laughs> he's making my move not where I want it to be. But this is actually to show the kind of the compliance of the robot. Even though I'm controlling it, and even though we're positioned, uh, we're controlling the receive arm in position and velocity, um, there is a, a certain element of compliance that we allow with our hardware because we have that, um, that, that torque sensing and we can, we can do things like that. Um, as you can see, Willig may or may not have used that to his advantage to win, but I'll give you this one. But that's, uh, that's really the, the, the big demo we wanted to show you that puts everything we've talked about together. Uh, it shows very quickly um, the different features that we have acting at the same time. So uh, I think this is a good way for us to uh, transition back to questions and um, we time to hear from our audience uh, if we can. Please put the questions in on the uh, question box and we'll do our best to answer them.